Over the last 10 years, the population of eastern Baton Rouge and the Florida parishes has risen rapidly, gaining nearly 100,000 new residents since the last federal census was taken in 1970. For that reason, the region is entitled to a new senatorial district. But the question is, where should that district be located? Today, the Senate Reapportionment Committee looked at three plans for drawing in the new district. Each, however, would have some impact on existing senatorial districts in the area. One of the districts most affected is that of Senator Bill Dykes of Montpelier, who under one of the plans would only retain 30% of his present constituency. I knew I was well-liked, but I don't know if I'm that well-liked. Dykes isn't the only senator whose district could be carved up. Senators Ken Osterberger, Mike Cross, and Sixty Rayburn all might also see a change in constituents. Rayburn, however, a 30-year veteran of the Senate, had a more optimistic view. If I'm like an old plow mule, I'll just work any field y'all put me in. Dividing Louisiana into 39 districts of equal population is not an easy task, but Senate committee members are hopeful it can be done without the matter ending up in the courts. Bob Courtney, Channel 2 Eyewitness News at the Capitol.